Hello and welcome to MarcusG.TV. Thank you for watching. I am Marcus Giuliano. I am a chef on a mission. And uh, I want to talk about, you know, this really irritates me. Because, and I, I explain this to people all the time, I get lied to constantly in restaurants about the food. And I don't know if it's intentional or, or if they just don't know what they're saying or they're just looking for an answer and they go back and, and ask, ask, ask the chef. Uh, here's a recent story. I had a friend that was dining at a, at a restaurant in Warwick. And uh, my friend texted me and said, um, is there a such thing as organic veal? Now, my friend does not eat veal. Um, we don't serve veal, and I don't eat veal as well. And I haven't in over 10 years. Um, the last time I served veal was because I was being told that I had to serve veal because I was the executive chef at a country club, Bonnie Breyer in Larchmont. And, you know, at that club, the, um, the members kind of run the club. The manager um, wasn't strong enough to say, hey, I'm the manager, and let me hire a chef, and we're going to run the club the way that it should be run by professionals and it was a little bit of a disaster because the general manager was not strong enough to say that. I have worked at some clubs where the general manager has said that and it makes life so much easier. Because in a country club you have a lot of, um, in this country club at Bonnie Briar, we had a lot of members just walking in the kitchen, handing me recipes, telling me what I needed to charge, telling me where I needed to buy my meat. And it was, they really weren't looking for a chef, they were looking for somebody just to take directions from them and then, you know, and, and carry out. Um, really a terrible experience. I did not like it at all. But um, um, back to the veal. So my friend texted me and said, hey, is there such thing as organic veal? And I've never heard of organic veal. I've heard of quote-unquote natural veal. Um, see, the problem with veal, here's the big problem with veal. <clears throat> veal, and you look, you, if you go on the veal industry website, it, it tells you how they raise it with design nutrition and and how they, how they, they raise it in these... Um, Indoor how indoor facilities uh, on a raised bed to have the waste eliminated properly, and it's the basically way the veal are veal are raised or veal are crate raised. They're ripped away from their mothers at an hour, two hours old, it, if they even stay with their mother that long. They're shipped away to auction. They're shipped away somewhere else or a different part of the farm, and they're stuck into a wooden crate inside of a building, where they're then fed a mixture of a formula. And, uh, and it even says it's funny because veal is basically anemic. Um, they don't get enough iron. It's a basically an, a, they're anemic. That's why the meat's not red. It's not eating a natural diet. It's not out on grass and eating and drinking the mother's milk uh, or the cow's milk, um, which is just just a detriment to the veal to begin with. Veal, by law, I think has to be like 15 or 16 weeks old. I'm not sure. You can look all this up on the veal website. They'll tell you about different grades of veal like bob veal and this and that and tell you, tell you the lifespan of the veal but really veal doesn't go more than you know you know a half a year old nine nine months old i believe is, is the oldest it can go um so it's raisin crates they're anemic they're fed a formula that's not natural i don't know of any operation doing veal that way that can claim they're either ethical or doing the right thing now, there's something called baby beef where they actually keep the ca the calves with the mothers and they put them out on pasture so it has a combination of grass and it has a combination of um, of the mother's milk. Now there's two different, see here's the problem with that. Most of that is baby beef and it's not veal. Veal is a direct, um, it's, a, it's a byproduct. Veal is a byproduct of the milk industry. So if you drink milk, eat milk, um, eat, drink, I'm sorry, eat milk, consume cheese, anything like that, you're actually supporting the veal industry because the more milk that you consume, that we consume, the more they need to make milk. And the way they make milk is by getting Holstein cows pregnant. And once they get the Holstein cow pregnant, if, there's a, if there is a male, the male goes into the veal program. Very, very few males actually live past those nine months. And those lucky males are actually ones that are actually done for breeding purposes. Those are way too far in between. So the average male Holstein cow goes for up to nine months. Back to the baby beef on the pasture. Typically, baby beef on pasture is not from Holstein. That is from regular Angus or Hereford or Limousine or other breeds of cattle. There's lots and lots of breeds of cattle. <clears throat> so really, it's just baby beef. It's not veal at all. Veal is something totally different. Veal is Holstein cattle, males, stuck in a crate. Baby beef is with its mom out in the pasture just being slaughtered earlier because the meat's tender and it's going to start turning red because it isn't eating a natural diet. So this restaurant claimed that they had organic veal, certified USDA organic veal. I called the restaurant. I did a bunch of research online to see if I could find organic standards for meat, which I found. 
Organic standards for meat clearly state that an animal has to be on pasture for 120 days. On pasture, not in a crate. And if you work out nine months and 120 days or whatever, whatever it was, six months or 120 days, it was like, it was right on that timeline where the animal wasn't even alive long enough to actually be on um, pasture for 120 days. That's one of the regulations for organic beef. So I couldn't find anything for organic beef. So I called the restaurant, like any normal person would do. And I said, listen, I want to come in for dinner, this and that. Tell me about your menu. And I asked some questions and to see if I could actually eat the food. And I said, tell me about your veal. I understand you have organic veal. And they said, oh, yes, we have organic veal. I said, is that by chance certified? Because I'm unfamiliar with certified organic veal. And the guy goes, oh, it's the, it's, this is the best veal. It's certified organic. Of course it is. It's so fresh. We pick it up at the market. We go to Hunts Point and pick it up. And Hunts Point, if you don't know what Hunts Point is, because you're not in restaurant industry, Hunts Point is a meat, meat district, fish district, and a produce district. They bring in stuff from all across the world, and it sits in warehouses, and then trucks come in and pull in there at 12 midnight to 8 o'clock in the morning and load up and get sent out all across the metro New York area to distributors. So he's like, we only buy from Hunts Point. Hunts Point is not the place where you want to buy fresh products. It's been sitting in boxes too long. <clears throat> Granted, some of my stuff comes from Hunts Point because that's just the way the market, that's just the way restaurants are designed, but we use a lot of farm fresh items. So he goes on and saying, oh, this and this. And I said, well, I'm really confused because I don't know of any certified organic veal. Can you please provide the name of the farm for me? Oh, we can't do that because um, the owner's not here and the owner can take care of this next week, now a week from tomorrow. And I said, don't you have the name on the box? If you go to pick up at Hunts Point, can't you ask the chef? They gave me a runaround. They, oh, the chef isn't here. He left for the day. And besides, the organic veal is only on our specials. I said, oh, so what are your specials? They go, well, the chef hasn't made them yet, and it's a quarter to five. I said, well, is the chef making them today? They go, oh, yes, the chef will make the specials today. I said, I just thought you said the chef left. Oh, I never said that. The chef is here. I said, so can I ask the chef where the veal is from? Okay, let me get the chef. The chef comes on, and I explain to him, I want, you know, I want to come in to eat. I've asked him a cold question about the food. I'm on to the veal part now. Can you explain the veal, the organic veal? And I, I said, I don't know of anything. I'm very skeptical because I've never heard of this before. And he goes, is this an investigation? I can't believe I'm getting investigated. I said, this is not an investigation. If I'm going to come spend money at your restaurant or anybody's going to come spend money at your restaurant, keep in mind, I'm not buying the veal. But if anybody's going to come to your restaurant and spend money, you should be able to at least verify where it's from. Well, this came from a farm in New York State and... And it's all organic. I said, it's certified. He goes, it's certified organic. You're investigating me. You just come and see my food. It's all fresh. We go to the market every day. We pick up fresh food at the market and went off on me. I said, sir, I'm just tell me the name of the farm. It's so all you have to do is just tell me the name of the farm. If you bought it from the farm, you would know. He ended up spelling a name to me, pronouncing a name and spelling it totally different. I asked him literally eight times on the spelling as I'm typing into Google. As we're going, there was no farm for this. Um, I could not find it anywhere. I asked him to spell it eight times. It was just nothing that I could find. Now, I'm not saying that this actually exists, because um, it could. this farm could exist, and it could be doing something you know, very close to Mother Nature. I don't know if they're certified. If anybody knows of any veal that's out there that's certified organic, um, let me know. Um, because I, it would be a great education for me. I actually asked a couple of different people in the meat industry, and they said they never even heard of organic veal, sort of certified organic veal. It must be one of those quote unquote more natural styles, natural formula, milk fed, or something that they like to claim. The veal industry loves to make claims about serving natural, um, natural veal, and it's just it's all bogus. It's, it is, trust me, it's all bogus. It's something you don't want to eat and get involved in. Um, so the restaurant really got upset with me. I could not find any leads. Um, and the guy was just like, I can't believe you would want to know where your food comes from. You're investigating me. Come to my restaurant and trust that I have the very fresh and best food. I only buy the freshest and best ingredients. Now, this is a whole nother blog if you want to talk about Hunts Point or any terminal market. Um, because those are just markets that actually get food from all across the country and it just sits there in warehouses um, and, and in transit and everything. It's, and it's far from fresh or anything. So we'll talk about that on another blog where how most restaurants actually buy. Maybe I can go down and do some videos in Hunts Point and, uh, and show people because I've been down there from time to time. I actually deal with one or two vendors that are outside of the market for some of my dry goods. And I have a produce guide down there that they, they bring in direct. They actually circumvent the, uh, 
the, the whole hunts point. So that's, and that's another good another good block to do at some point. But if anybody knows of organic veal out there, please let me know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm in the dark on this. I need some help with this. I just don't know um, about organic veal. Um, so somebody please help and educate me or at, the, at this point I'm assuming that this restaurant is just exaggerating like most restaurants do they exaggerate what they're actually what they actually have because they think the word organic or free range or grass fed grass fed they think these are cool words to use and they just put them in there and most consumers don't question they don't know but they believe what they hear at restaurants and they're paying top dollar for phony products and I'm sick and tired of people paying top dollar for phony products ask questions it's your right as a consumer to know what you're buying it's and it's the obligation of the restaurant to be truthful in their menu and what they're serving I do it every day there's no reason why other restaurants can't do it I do it every day with every ingredient other restaurants you've got to get on board and do this and um, Shoot me, uh, you know, the way, the way I get a, a lot of these leads from, because people actually ask me, no, I was at this restaurant, they said they had this, can you find out if that's real? Drop me an email if you go out and meet somewhere and you're skeptical of something. I'll do the research, I'll call them, I'll look online, I, I'll look through there, I know what, what to look for, I know the farms, I know how to find out from other vendors or get into the brokers and talk to the brokers and, and this kind of stuff, so I can get behind the scenes more than an average consumer can. Uh, besides just looking on the website. So call me, email me, drop me a line. I'll be happy to investigate where your food comes from. I am Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission, and the mission is truth in menu. Thank you.